welcome. You're logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com, the only portal for news from India, America, Canada, Punjab and Gujarat. In English, Punjabi and Gujarati with a list of well-established businesses and resources that you may need. I'm Preena Sharma and today's headlines are In India, the IT department has launched a major drive against Indians with illegal foreign assets. And the government has lambasted Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan for meddling in India's internal affairs. In America, anger has outpoured over a US transgender change memo. And the Gulf of Mexico oil spill may become the worst offshore disasters. In Punjab, Chief Minister Amrinder Singh is in Israel for a five-day visit. And the NHRC has ordered the state and railway board to submit a report on the Amritsar tragedy. Stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com and I'll be back with all the news that's important for you from India, America and Punjab. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are The IT department has launched a major operation to investigate cases of illegal funds and properties stashed abroad by Indians. It may also invoke the new anti-black money law for strict criminal action in many such cases. India has stated that Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan should worry about his country's bankruptcy rather than focus on making false accusations. He had earlier alleged that the Indian security forces were targeting innocent lives in Jammu and Kashmir. The Congress has not officially declared Rahul Gandhi as its prime ministerial candidate in the 2019 Lok Sabha elections. Senior Congress leader P. Chidambaram has said, its main objective is to defeat the BJP and usher in a progressive government at the centre. The army has issued a stern warning to the Pakistan army asking it to restrain terrorists from operating from its soil. It had earlier killed armed intruders from Pakistan along the LOC in Sundarbani sector of Jammu and Kashmir. The Congress has demanded Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley be sacked. This is for allowing bank frauds to the tune of 90,000 crore rupees and letting fraudsters like Vijay Malia and Nirav Modi to flee the country. The Supreme Court has declined urgent hearing on a PIL seeking the registration of FIRs based on allegations of sexual misconduct and assault levelled by women across various sectors. This was part of what is being referred to as India's hashtag MeToo movement. The number of taxpayers earning above 1 crore rupees per annum has risen to over 1.40 lakhs in the country in the last four years, depicting a growth of about 60%. The CBDT released key statistics of income tax and direct taxes for a period of about four years. The CBI has arrested its Deputy Superintendent of Police, Devender Kumar. This is in connection with bribery allegations involving its Special Director and Second-in-Command, Rakesh Asthana. The Supreme Court has rejected a PIL by lawyer Ashok Pandey, seeking to lower marriageable age for the men to 18 years. The Apex Court did not find any merit in the petition and also imposed a fine of 25,000 rupees on the lawyer. Veteran actor-politician Shatrughan Sinha remembered the late actor Shami Kapoor on its 87th birth anniversary, saying that he truly deserved the title of Elvis Presley of India. The 72-year-old actor added that Shami was ahead of his times in everything and was the first among contemporaries to have mastered the internet. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as the news from America and Punjab follows. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from America are There has been an outpouring of anger in the US from politicians, celebrities and human rights groups over a report alleging the US policy on gender recognition could be changed. Transgender and gender non-confirming people have been responding to the report using the hashtag We Won't Be Erased. An oil spill that has been leaking millions of barrels since the last 14 years into the Gulf of Mexico is now poised to become one of the worst offshore disasters in the US. Leaking between 300 and 700 barrels of oil per day, the oil production platform was sunk in a mudslide triggered by Hurricane Ivan. NSA John Bolton began his two days of meetings with senior Russian officials following Washington's announcement of its withdrawal from a nuclear weapons treaty. The U.S. is withdrawing from three-decade-old intermediate-range nuclear forces treaty. President Donald Trump has accused Saudi Arabia of lying about the killing of Jamal Khashoggi, his strongest comments to date on the affair as pressure was building on the administration. Trump stepped back from his previous stance that Saudi's explanation was credible. Indian language Telugu is the fastest-growing language in the U.S., according to the World Economic Forum. The number of U.S. residents speaking Telugu rose by 86% between 2010 and 2017, as links watch between Hyderabad and the U.S. engineering and technology industry. The U.S. Embassy has launched two programs to provide mentorship to 30 innovative women from across India to help them scale up their enterprises. 
the All India Roadshow on Women's Economic Empowerment through Entrepreneurship Scale-Up Fellowship Program will be funded by the U.S. State Department. President Donald Trump has said that his administration was doing all it can to prevent the migrant caravan from crossing the border into Mexico. Trump said that the caravans was a disgrace to the Democrat Party and efforts were being made to stop the onslaught of illegal aliens. Six people were shot, leaving three of them in critical condition in Jacksonville in the U.S. state of Florida. The incident took place blocks away from where Jacksonville Jaguars were playing against Houston Texans at TIAA Bankfield. Ferrari's Kimi Raikkonen won the U.S. Formula 1 Grand Prix surpassing Red Bull's Max Verstappen and dethroning Mercedes' Lewis Hamilton, who fell to the third spot. To secure his fifth Grand Prix, Hamilton needed to beat runner-up Ferrari's Sebastian Vettel by eight points. After a 35-year acting career and with two iconic television characters to her name, Julia Louis-Dreyfus has been honoured with the Mark Twain Prize for Lifetime Achievement in Comedy. Dreyfus knocked Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh while accepting the award. I'll be back. Stay logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com as soon as from Punjab follows. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from Punjab are Chief Minister Amrinder Singh is in Israel on a five-day visit to strengthen cooperation with the Jewish nation in several sectors. He will also be visiting several facilities and institutions working in sectors such as agriculture, horticulture and dairy. The NHRC has issued notices to the state and railway board over the Dashera Day tragedy at Amritsar. It has also asked for a report over it within four weeks. It has held the state government and the railway board responsible for the accident. Father Korea Kos Katuthara, who had deposed with the Kerala police against rape accused Bishop Franco Mulakkal, was found dead near Jalandhar. The cause of his death is unknown. The Panthic Assembly has appealed to Sikhs to boycott the Badals. The Assembly also termed the father-son duo of former Chief Minister Parkar Singh Badal and Sukhbir as traitors of the Khalsa Party. Yani Harpreet Singh has been named as the acting Jathedar of the Akal Takht, which is considered as the highest temporal seat of the Sikhs. The SGPC executive body accepted the resignation of Yani Gurbachan Singh at a recent meeting. Former senior superintendent of police and three other officers have moved the Punjab and Haryana High Court seeking a CBI probe in sacrilege cases. The police officers want a probe by an independent agency into the four FIRs registered in connection with sacrilege incidents. Hundreds of teachers held a march in Patiala as part of their ongoing protest against the state's decision to regularize their jobs at a salary of 15,300 rupees per month. A day earlier, the protesting teachers had marched towards Chief Minister Amrinder Singh's residence but were stopped by the police. The state has rejected allegations of mismanagement in purchase of machinery for crop residue. The government said that the whole process is being carried out under the supervision of the Union Government's Task Force, headed by the Agriculture Secretary. Around 182 units of blood was donated by youth at a mega blood donation camp organized by NGOs at the local Ram Sharnam Ashram in Fazilka. About 3,700 units had already been donated through 28 camps organized by NGOs during the past one year. Punjabi actress Sargun Mehta has posted a beautiful picture along with her husband Ravi Dubey. The couple is enjoying their vacation in Goa. Stealing moments from their busy lives, Sargun and Ravi pose for a selfie while looking into each other's eyes. This is the end of the news bulletin, but stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com as news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resources section on this portal to find the best Indo-American businesses and resources. From accounting firms to wedding planners in your city. All of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day. Karan Johar's chat show Coffee with Karan Season 6 has become a talk of the town as still now Bollywood biggies Amir Khan, Akshay Kumar, Alia Bhatt, Deepika Padukone and Ranveer Singh have already shot with the filmmaker. Now Punjab's rock star and rap star, actor-producer Diljeet Dosanjh and rapper Badsha share the couch at the show. Recently Diljeet and Badsha shot for the episode together and host Karan shared a picture post the shoot. The trio donned cool outfits and posed together for a stylish photo. Kejo captioned the pic, Coffee with the Rapster and the Rockstar. Bacha and Diljeet, Coffee with Karan. Well, it will be interesting to see Diljeet and Bacha on the show for the very first time. Veteran actor Jackie Shroff has praised actor Sanjadat, with whom he will be sharing screen space in the upcoming remake of Telugu film Prasthanam, and said that he is one of the finest actors in Bollywood. Jackie has previously worked with Sanjay in movies like Khalnayak, 
Mission Kashmir, Karthus, and Ikla wear the Royal Guard. Asked about working with Munna Bhai MBBS star, Jaggi Shroff told IANS, have known Sanju before the films. Right from day one till now, he remains the same. His childlike quality to make people laugh in the most adverse situation. And when it comes to work, he is one of the finest actors we have. He added, always a pleasure to share screen space with him, whether it is Kalnayak, Mission Kashmir, Karthus, and now Prasthana. To be produced by Sanjay Dutt Productions, the film is being remade in Hindi by director Deva Khatta, who also helped the original. The film also stars Manisha Koirala, Ali Fazal, and Amira Dastoor. Comedian Kapil Sharma will get married to his steady and stable girlfriend Gini Chaturat on December 12th in Jalandhar. Opening up on the topic of his marriage, Kapil said, The wedding is on December 12th in Jalandhar. That's Gini's hometown. We wanted to keep it low-key, but Gini is the only daughter in her family. Her folks wanted the wedding to be on a lavish scale, and I completely understand their sentiments. My mother also wants the wedding to be lavish. Kabul even recalled how his elder brother was married with minimum ostentation. Sharma, whose life and career has been under a cloud for some time now, said he wanted to keep the wedding under wraps. So is he happy with the decision to finally marry his devoted girlfriend? Of course I am, but more than me, the happiness that I see on my mother's face is what makes it special. The wedding will be followed by a reception on December 14th. Bollywood actors Ranveer Singh and Deepika Padukone on Sunday announced that they are set to tie the knot on November 14th, 15th. And soon after, what followed was a series of comments by their contemporaries congratulating the two actors. While many tweeted in respect of the same, there were others whose comments on the couple's invite served as a congratulatory wish. Actress Priyanka Chopra was one among many who commented on the picture in her tasty filmy style. She commented, Congrats, tu hero ban gaya, Rano. Piyaki Aegi Bara, whereas Priyanka herself is set to tie the knot soon with Bo Nick Jonas. A month after speculations, this is the first time Ranveer and Dabika are openly talking about their wedding. These Bollywood stars have shared screen space in films like Goli of Kiras Meela Ram Meela, Bajirao Mastani and Padmavan. Kareena Kapoor Khan had a fun Sunday evening at her close friend and designer Manish Malhotra's house. Karina was accompanied by her best friends Karan Johar, Amrita Arora, and Natasha Poonawala. Karina looked stunning in a light blue colored denim shirt with red lipstick and black high heels. Along with Karina, the BFFs were also looking stylish and posed for photos for the paparazzi at Manisha's residence. Natasha Poonawala also shared a selfie from the get together on her Instagram handle. Karan, Karina, Amrita, and Manish Malhotra are best friends. Karina even attended the celebration bash of Kuch Kuch Hota Hai, completing 20 years. On film front, Karina's next two films are being produced by Karan Jor's Dharma Productions. She will star in Takht, which will be directed by Karan himself, and Good News, which will be directed by Raj Mehta for Dharma Productions.